He came out and told me I was terminal and, and told my family. The reason I, I'm trying to get involved is because I don't want to take, I don't want anybody to ever lose hope. And that's what I felt like. I, lo I felt like I lost hope. But when I went to my doctor, she said, no, you're not. You have hope. We're, we're fighting. Here I am five years later, you know. I, I just think God didn't want me right now. He, I had other things that I needed to do. Going to the event helps people to open their eyes. The first time I went there, I had a baseball cap on, completely bald. I walked three miles, had had my eighth chemo, and um, I had probably 30 people come up to me and say, been there, you're going to make it. I'm from the Danville community, and I work with the Danville Community School District um, to do Go Pink for Pennies. And what we do is we have six weeks of leading up to a week for the final home game of the season, and the kids bring in their pennies um, at each of the schools, high school and middle school. That's how we collect all our money, and then we bring it in. To get all of the kids involved, to teach them at an early age to give, that, is, that was my goal, and the community has, has just grasped that, and the kids just really are very excited about it. I mean, we're talking from kindergarten all the way up to the high school. Being involved w with making strides, again, it's, I think it goes back to me surviving. Now, I'm, I need to be there for that next person. Not just me, we have to join together as a community and that's making strides is it. If we gather together as a team and go out and fight, we can beat this. The time is now to get rid of these diseases.